She's traveled thousands of miles just to come to Indiana to be able to see again for surgery that's never been done. I'm Stacia Matthews with this story you'll only see on Six News. She has been in the dark since 1972 since a mail bomb destroyed her vision. Yeah, but now Indianapolis doctors are restoring her sight with cutting-edge technology. Very exciting. Stacia Matthews on your side this evening with her story you'll only see on Six News. 35 years ago, the unthinkable happened. A bomb arrived in the mail and blew up in the hands of a young woman. The explosion blinded her in one eye, left the other severely damaged. Well, now a groundbreaking procedure here in Indianapolis is bringing her out of darkness. Finding this opportunity now is so exciting. Um, I've waited 34 years, really. Debbie Bailey could barely see out of her left eye. Despite numerous operations, it was badly scarred and the cornea was cloudy. The 54-year-old from Florida was slipping into complete darkness. On Friday, Indianapolis doctors fixed the window of Debbie's eye by doing something that's never been done before, combining two delicate surgeries. First, they transplanted a donor's cornea. Then they implanted an artificial iris that's still being tested. Doctors say they could do this because they are the first in the world to use this new laser cutting-edge technology that makes ultra-small incisions for a perfect fit. We're hoping that with some newer modifications, not only will we get faster healing, but less astigmatism, that's less distortion to the eye, so that people can get back to work and back to their lives sooner. Debbie has her sights set high. People looking at my children's faces and enjoying the sunset at the beach in Sarasota that I've missed missed a lot in the last few years and very simple things um, looking up at the stars at night would be nice Stacia Matthews, Six News and Debbie's eyes should heal in about six months Dr. Price says that he hopes the FDA will sign off on this procedure this fall we mm -hmm. hope so